In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to change and update the Windows Path Variable Environment setting. Now, the Windows Path Environment setting is a very helpful one because it allows you to execute a program that's not located in your current directory. In a previous tutorial, we discussed how to use the MySQL dump command to back up MySQL databases. Now, the MySQL dump uh, command, uh, which is MySQL dump.exe, is usually located in, let's say, c colon slash program file slash mysql 5.0 slash bin and then there's mysql dump.exe now to have to type that in every single time you wanted to run the command can be very cumbersome or even having to navigate that deep down in the directory tree can also be a pain now one option is to go ahead and to copy that file the mysql dump.exe to the area where you use it the most so if you save your databases in a, in a c slash backups folder you can go ahead and copy the mysql dump.exe file there but if you're in the C, C directory or if you're in D or anywhere else and you want to execute the command, you've got to either go to backups to execute it or go to the actual directory. So one of the best ways to do it is to go ahead and change the path variable. So that way, with the uh, directory to the file set, as the path, set in the path variable, Windows knows no matter where you are, you can execute any command that's within that directory. So let's say we have a command that's located within the um, C slash backups directory that we always want to be able to get to or if you're MySQL dump, for example, that exe, you put that in backups. So let's go ahead to my computer, because we're going to edit the path variable now, and come down to properties. And then let's left click on advanced, and down here, left click on environment variables. On the bottom, we're going to scroll down to path, and let's click edit. Now, as you can see, what I've done already for mine, since I live with MySQL dump, is over here, I actually have it in there. D slash program files, my C so it's there, because I don't want to retype it every time. But let's just say, as we said in our example, and again, make sure our semicolon is here. In our example, that we have the, um, we'll let's put it in C colon slash backups. So um, there we go. So now any file that's located, or like it's an executable that's located in C slash backups will be accessible anywhere from where you are in the command prompt. C, D, anywhere you want. D slash program files. You'll be able to run a program that's within the C slash backups directory. And we'll click OK then OK again to clear all out and finalize this, and then you will be all set. 